Hey guys and welcome to this uh, very new uh, YouTube channel. Uh, my name is T. Well, it's actually a little bit longer, but it's a Dutch name and not many people can pronounce it. Um, so uh, just call me T. Um, I made this channel actually a few days ago um, because I wanted to um, give myself an opportunity to teach more people about Elixir and Phoenix because I really love it. Um, been using it for a short amount of time, six months. So I'm by no means an expert. Um, I'm a junior, um, but I love coding in Elixir Phoenix. Um, and I want to teach uh, other people and get people excited for it. So um, I wanted to do a video series um, and build an application because that's the way I like to learn by actually building a full application. Um, and the application is going to be a clone of Medium. Uh, we're going to start simple, um, not too complicated. It's a blog site. Um, write your blog posts, comments, um, and votes. But I think they're called claps in Medium. Yeah, they're called claps. Um, so I made a roadmap um, for this video series. So the roadmap is here. I'm so professional. Um, so we're going to build a Medium clone with Phoenix, uh, Absinthe, GraphQL, um, and React Apollo. That's going to be a different series because I want to separate the front end from the back end. But the back end is going to be Phoenix uh, with Absinthe to make a GraphQL API. I love it, GraphQL. If you've used it once, I mean, it's, it's so much simpler than REST. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, so we're going to do a feature for register and sign in. Um, and we're going to authenticate with a JWT token. The feature that I found really hard to find information on um, is the forget password. I've been coding for like for like a year now. Uh, I started off with Ruby. And in Ruby, it's like pretty much magic. You install device and everything works. In Phoenix or Elixir uh, and Phoenix, um, it's it's a bit a little bit harder. It's it's quite a young language, so there are not many packages out there yet. There is a package quite similar to Device. Um, it doesn't do JWT verification, so I've not tried it yet. Um, so I really wanted to get this feature done and over with, and and share my knowledge about it with you. Then we're gonna create posts. Um, add categories to posts so we can um, actually do a many-to-many -many relationship in the database. Create comments. And I also want to do a email feature because that's like, well, you use it pretty much with every application. Um, so for now, I thought of sending an email to the user every time a new comment on their post is uh, posted. Um, in production, I don't think you want to do this because otherwise you get just get spammed if you're if you have an article that a lot of people like and a lot of people comment on. So in production, I don't think you want to do this. You probably want to do it scheduled like once every day. We might get into that because I'm not a expert on using um, uh, gen servers and stuff. And this, I think, this is like your typical gen server um, feature. So we might go there, I'm not sure yet. Um, and then we want to do claps uh, or upvotes. Um, and I want to do a subscription, so that's real-time data. It's pretty much like like creating a WebSocket. But then with uh, Phoenix, I want to deploy it. So those are the nine features I want to do for now. And maybe we'll add later uh, uploading a picture to Amazon, to a bucket um, for profile picture or pictures in your blog post. At tags, I mean, it's pretty similar to doing categories. Um, so I'm not sure if it's really helpful. Um, at OAuth login, so your Facebook, Twitter, GitHub, whatever login, and maybe nested comments. So you can comment on a comment and stuff like that, but that's for later. So I made a database scheme. Where is it? It's here. 
So I usually like to approach a new project with first thinking about how the database is gonna is gonna look. Um, it sometimes changes during the process, so this is not like the final the final thing. It might change, but um, we have a user table, we have a post table with a user ID. Um, the comments have a user ID and a post ID. Votes have a post ID and a user ID. Maybe we'll do votes on comments. I'm not sure yet. I, I really don't know how long this is going to take. I haven't. I've coded it before, um, but I don't know how long it's going to take if I uh, record it. So, and we're going to do categories. And because I really wanted to do a many to many relationship, so post as many can have many categories and a category has many posts. So you can search on a category. So that is what I want to do. So before before we get started, um, please make sure you install Elixir. Um, I'm recording this on Mac OS, so the, by far the easiest way to do this is to um, install Elixir via Homebrew. Um, just brew install Elixir. It will grab Erlang as well, I think. I think it does, because, yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Um, and I mean, for me, it's been a long time uh, since I installed it. Um, so yeah, and then uh, install Phoenix and Phoenix installation is pretty simple. Just go to the Phoenix website to installation and there you'll find um, how to install it. It's just running this command, install it. Um, we also, of course, are going to need Postgres, but I'm pretty sure if you're watching this and you know about Erling and uh, Phoenix and Elixir, you got Postgres installed. So that shouldn't be much of an issue. Um, so yeah, that's going to be this playlist. So I'm going to make another playlist for the front end, um, and that's going to be in React and Apollo, and it's going to be from the ground up. So I'm not going to use Create React App. I'm going to um, do my own config of Webpack because I just like it a lot more. It's It makes more sense to me. Um, and maybe later, because I really like doing React Native as well. But um, yeah, I'll see how much time we have, because otherwise this is going to go on for a long time. And I want to do other practice projects as well. Uh, project with uploading um, pictures and stuff if we don't edit here, but do it in a different video. So people can get more used to using AppSynth and Phoenix and Elixir. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to end it here and then in the next episode we'll start generating a project and getting the formatter because that that's a thing that elixir um, added in 1.6 it's like ESLint for elixir it's amazing you should use it um, and we're going to go over that by creating a new project and installing it so yeah thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next episode